Good evening. With the turn of the ignition, we're on the shores officially here. Putting on an event this large is, of course, expensive, but once the bills are paid, the rest of the money goes to an Erie nonprofit organization. It's new at 6 o'clock. Elena LaQuatra is in the middle of all the action right now downtown. Elena, we know that one of Erie's longest standing nonprofits is benefiting from this year's event, right? Sean and Jill, take a look at the scene around here. I'm going to tell you who that nonprofit is in just a moment, but look at this. 175,000 bikers are roaring into Erie for a weekend of fun, and when they leave, they can feel good knowing their dollars are helping underprivileged youth. The motorcycles are roaring, the music is playing, and the bikers having a great time. Those dollars you're spending at Roar on the Shore are helping Erie. This is our way of coming together as an association and as a, a group to say, you know, we support our local nonprofits and we need to we need to be there when they need us. In the last 11 years, Roar has raised $840,000 for local nonprofits. The money that's raised from bikers registering for different rides and from the sale of these official Roar on the Shore t-shirts will be going to help one of Erie's oldest nonprofit organizations, the Sarah Reed Children's Center. The Sarah Reed Children's Center helps underprivileged children with behavioral or mental health issues. The center is working to give these children a good education, around the clock medical care, and a safe place to live. It's not that they're bad, it's, it's where they came from. Because many of these kids, they're great kids, but it's the people who treated them badly. Now they're nearing a remarkable anniversary, 150 years. And to celebrate the big anniversary, they're investing in the thousands of children they help. Every cent that we are to receive is going right to that building you see behind me. A $1.1 million, 5,200 square foot residence hall on their Mill Creek campus. The nonprofit says it will be tangible proof of how your dollar spent on a fun-filled weekend are going to help underprivileged children in the community. Their expansion project doesn't end there by the time they hit the 150th anniversary. In just three short years, they hope to have three other brand new buildings on that campus. So while you're down here, spend those dollars and you can feel good that you're making a difference. Sean. Elena LaQuatra in downtown area tonight. Thanks, Elena.